Wyoming's hunting season for many big game species opens this Friday. Eyewitness News 3's Braden Wilson tells us what we need to know before we get to the mountains. The big game hunting season is a time eagerly awaited by many hunters. But some might be in for a surprise, depending on what species they are hunting for. Some of our um, big game herds, uh, particularly pronghorn and mule deer, uh, winter south of Jackson and in southwest Wyoming where there's typically less snow. And uh, this year they got, uh, uh, this past winter I should say, they had above average snow and uh, below normal temperatures, which is a combination that's for, you know, for a significant winter mortality event, which we had uh, both in mule deer and pronghorn. Um, and then pronghorn got a double whammy in that they had a pneumonia outbreak. Thanks to last year's winter and the pneumonia outbreak, pronghorn tags are very limited. And if you do have a tag, you might not see a lot of success in the hills. What we've seen too also, a, a lot of times when we have uh, a bad winter like that, a lot of times hunters will take a break and, and not um, even pursue those species if they can get a license. Um, and so that's fair, um, but we, we, we feel like, you know, the amount of licenses that we have provided are adequate to provide, you know, to allow those herds to rebound. If you hunt mule deer, you need to be aware of some new limits. We reduced the season length and we restricted harvest to only bucks that have three points or better, um, just to kind of protect that younger segment of the herd that remains and try and bolster, you know, any kind of growth that we could get this year. The sturdier species of big game have no major changes. However, there are some things this early in the season that you should remember. Number one is to be prepared for bears. The other thing to remember is to get those carcasses out as soon as possible as it is still warm in the area. In Jackson, I'm Brayden Wilson.